times girls can't get physical with us mm -hmm. unless ile case moja moja kama na miss Naivasha mm -hmm. she stabbed her boyfriend 22 times 22 times mm -hmm. so you see at a boy child be as you also mm -hmm. endangered species mm -hmm. but now most of the times my boy na skianga boy am at on a dim suicide not and then boy na jua mm -hmm. because most of the suicide cases in Kenya mostly mm -hmm. ni campus students and most of the students are the boys mm -hmm. because they don't know as in yani awana dia kule so you find that mm -hmm. you can just focus and magnify the issue on also women because also the boys are hurting so i think it's a mm -hmm. it's story now mental health yeah. now when we're coming to you can we just change it a little bit i want to change the energy but the same kind of question so as you can see on the screen we have examples of campus suicides and let me tell you i've gone i've gone online and found articles way in fact kuna moja april 6 2018 like exactly a year ago and and these things on a campus girl committed suicide because he, she was dumped by a boyfriend or something man say like look how beautiful like how beautiful yeah woman mwingine from migori at 16 years old what 16 commit suicide after being dumped by boyfriend mwingine varsity students kill self leaving suicide note like it's it's w <laughs> help me understand Mm -hmm. What do you feel about this this wave? About uh, you see, 24 years old, 16 years old, Sidri, what is this? And it's it's spread out. Yes, Nairobi dot Meskia cases, but kitui, mona. It's making my head hurt a little bit. Help me understand. Okay, um, first, uh, may, the, may, may their souls rest in eternal peace. It is really sad to see such young souls, mm -hmm. uh, promising future leaders, mm -hmm. terminate their lives mm -hmm. mainly because of love life. Mm -hmm. It is really sad. And I think um, the same way, I think mental health discussions mm -hmm. should be the order of the day. Mm -hmm. People are really depressed and some do not even know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think we should have more conversations on mental health mm -hmm. and depression cases because it is really affecting us mm -hmm. and it is really becoming an issue. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I used to believe that some she doesn't get any zawazungo like miss kwana imagine like mtu mosi kasi si anaweza kupata shiko la student depression paka ende aonge langeleshe mtu like what are we talking we are black we don't have time to talk mm -hmm. but kumbe we need to talk yeah. like we really really need to talk to somebody okay and just in a second we're going to go to the types of self awareness there too all right so hi Val, we ni here mimi najijua poa sana i'm rude <laughs> That's why stucky permanent men in my life, stucky kufama peva. Wow, I believe there's someone for everyone. Do you believe so too? Yeah. So your rudeness ya kutu kuna tutuwa me designi wa kupenda tu ivo. Hi Val, I'm Johnny. Akiacha yyo mambo ya vetting jumaniu ili. Shh, shh. Tusionge hiyo story hapa. Sasa ati unasema kutuma fair ni kama betting. No, hiyo ni robbery without violence. Boy child has... <laughs> do you agree? No, I do not agree because mm. first, mm -hmm. and it has really become an issue because these men are feeling entitled mm -hmm. that when they give um, a girl present or money, they mm -hmm. feel entitled to that woman. First, they are never coerced. Nobody mm -hmm. ever forces mm -hmm. the men to give to give us money. Nobody has ever come with a gun mm -hmm. and point, point it to a man and tell him, Ni pati a pesa. Mm. Yeah, so it is always out of their willingness mm -hmm. and nobody ever forces any man. Mm. So I think it is not <laughs> robbery mm -hmm. as it's because men will uh, actually others you do not even ask for the money mm. they go ahead and say when I come to come to our sis kile to a bed man say yeah cafe yes mm -hmm. so it is never so it is not robbery mm -hmm. yes and men should not feel entitled mm -hmm. to a woman after sending him mm -hmm. gifts or money mm -hmm. because for instance um i was having a conversation mm -hmm. with a friend of mine yesterday um a typical breakfast mm -hmm. for a kenyan is maybe white tea and bread mm -hmm. and always in the morning you go with a hundred shillings to the shop mm -hmm. you give it to the shopkeeper mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so when one day you decide to go mm -hmm. give him the money mm -hmm. without saying anything Mm. Will he be in a position to give you the tea and and yeah, and bread? Okay. Mm. Uh, in some instances, he mm. may not give you because he does not know whether Leon credo unataka amani ni so. If you do not say your intention, <laughs> wow. If you do not say your intention <laughs> first, then this is where the problem is coming in. Uh -huh. Men, when you start sending in the money, the gifts. 
say your intentions. I want, I'm sending you this so that I can sleep with you. Mm -hmm. I'm sending you so that I can become your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So that as a girl, when I'm taking the gifts, mm -hmm. I will clearly know that mm -hmm. I'm taking these gifts because mm -hmm. the result will be this and that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I ask you a question, Queen? In all fairness, now that we, we, we are feeling the vibe of the girl child on this, this matter, is it also right to say, again, I say we're different the way we are built, uh, guys and girls. So guys, giving gifts may be a really big thing to them. Nakwetu is not a very big deal. Like, uneza pati ya brayo, saai, kevo, mpe kitu ingine hapo. Oh my God, this is too, you know, you're so special, kitu kayo. But now when we get intimate, it's completely different. Now, a guy, itakuwa tu intimacy kwake, amekula. Na wewe itakuwa, oh my gosh, we're in love, we're together. So is it then fair to expect that kevo na jonte na sujui nani after you've, you've become intimate, you've, you've become one in body, that now you should be the only girl. It's, it's the same kind of argument. Sasa we anakupati ya zawadi and expect kitu wapo. Wewe unampea kitu na unexpect kitu wapo. Isn't it? How do you feel about these two words? Mm. I think mm -hmm. don't, plant a, don't plant a seed mm -hmm. where you cannot harvest mm -hmm. or where you cannot sow. So, at some point, mm -hmm. yes, I will agree with the boy child mm -hmm. when they say, Okay, wanna to pay a gift and maybe mm. okay, you came to me and I said mm -hmm. and I said, Yeah, we can maybe give it a try. We get intimate and stuff. But remember the moment you decide to get intimate with someone, mm -hmm. you already create a bond. Mm -hmm. Yes, intimacy is a great thing mm -hmm. and it's also a gift from God, but when done at the right time. Mm -hmm. Then so when a guy okay, when I agree to get intimate with a guy, mm -hmm. that means at some point I may want to start a future with him. Given that mm -hmm. I am not a prostitute, mm -hmm. you know, prostitute. Yes, we understand. Mm -hmm. But when, like, I'm your girlfriend, or maybe I am to be your girlfriend, and I accept to be intimate with you, that means I am already giving you hopes mm -hmm. that you might be a thing. So, to the ladies also, don't give hopes where you know things cannot work out. Be straightforward. If the guy wants to date you, say yes, I can date you or no, I cannot date you. Don't give, don't water seeds that you know cannot grow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Why are my panelists so deep today? Wow, I <laughs> thought I was teaching. I'm also being taught at Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. If you'd allow me to read some of the feedback on this book, we have one Alphonse Okuku. Yes, indeed. Tit for tat is the summary. Wow, woo. Why is so angry with Tony? Ya mbona utumie pesa za mwanaume na unajua vizuri humpendi. Ladies acheni na pesa za mwanaume. They can take you to hell. Right. Wow. That's a hard uh, substance to serve in the morning. But mm -hmm. I like that we're being honest. I like that we're being very honest with each other. So, uh, coming back to the lesson of the class, yeah? it is self-awareness. So I can see, I am aware enough of myself to see someone is upset. Yeah? You can clearly tell by the way <laughs> yeah. they are speaking. And I'm feeling that unaona ni kama ni shida madem, which I, I can perceive you might have a point because of all the things that we are saying, but let's talk about the types of self-awareness now. There are two. There's one internal self-awareness and there's external self-awareness. What do you think internal self-awareness is, King? Internal self-awareness, for me personally, I take it knowing that you can control your emotion, your behavior, and then you can handle your own things mm -hmm. in a very mature way. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. if someone, let's say, pisses you off, mm -hmm. you know that, instead of just staying there because you can get easily provoked, mm -hmm. because you know what your anger can lead you to do, mm -hmm. so you just leave the person, assume them, mm -hmm. so that because, because once you stay there and then your anger gets out of hand, mm -hmm. you can do a lot of things which, which you'll come to regret later. Mm -hmm. yeah. I totally feel you. Totally. Jumimi, Najwa, there's a point when there's an iguza and there's no coming back from that. So, kabla unifikie, oh, nisha kuandokea, nisha chapa chapa maraundi zangu, and before I ask you to what you think, Let's read it. Internal self-awareness. So it is how clearly you see your values, your passions, and aspirations, and how well those standards fit with your environment and your reactions, which include thoughts, feelings, behaviors, and strengths, and weaknesses. So for example, kama unapenda mande mapaivi, 
Unajua dem kukupenda unaenda unaambia Holy Spirit na una hope Holy Spirit anakuambia hakuna kama I like no. So okay na chapa chapa tu hapo hapo right all right then I see ah he's not feeling my vibe. Okay the first reaction would probably be am I not good enough am I not pretty enough am I not his type ni mbaya na mimi okay Santa ji change aje ndo ani notice mimi sindio those are the way you come me crash me crash but what happens when your crush is not crashing on you eh uh, what happens when your crush is not feeling you at all and it happens tell me how how to help people peacefully interact when your crush does not have a crush on you yeah manze Sasa umekufa umekufia mtu nikani Yesu please someone already did that you know in the current society mm -hmm. communication is key to everything mm -hmm. so when you jo, kitambu ilikuanga dem haizi enda kukatia boy mm -hmm. but in the current society mm -hmm. what can't kina karodo well. you can do anything mm -hmm. so i think okay crush him say okay so you just go and tell them let them know that they una kwangu mimi niweza so mm -hmm. ajuange mm -hmm. una dem 10 na kwanga nimemaliza so na kiringa mmoja wa mume itaonyo kwa yes so that's the problem mm -hmm. so ukiona okay, ana ringa si akiringa crush inaisha una crush ya mwingine hey, hey. the cycle continues moving on swiftly yes. how look at him just smiling <laughs> at the thought of being told hey handsome how are you so dem kama kwambe manze hey uda kuna venye unaniguzanga very personally i think that's one advantage of the empowerment of the girl child this is silas muende lazima kikutambua as in it also has it part zina come to nile tu natulia as in pia si we also human tunapenda kuchochwa kiasi hata ati umesema tutaweka mapi hivi sikia tu poa hivyo so but now kama personally ame ame ku crushia na oh feel kuna vile tu azini yani as a mature person una mlet go to ivo mhm mm amuna mtu niaje mm. let me try and give it a chance lakini mm -hmm. pia mimi ndamwambia tujaribu lakini ni ile tu for train yani tuende tukaitaweza try sex eh yeah. ama itaweza yeah oh unaona mbona una kasishwa wasitana wenyewe manze mtu wenyewe okay. unamwambia tuna try sex una try nini sasa tuna kaita make ah, ah, una make. try na huyu na huyu na huyu na huyu mwambie <laughs> mwambie ni nika ni i don't know Yeah. Mombe ni kaa loto basi mm -hmm. unaenda tu ukijaribu yeah. ndio uoneka kuna moja itashika usimwambie yeah. we are trying and then akwapo let me be a better see now where we fail is mm -hmm. we start saying let me be a better person for he, him let me make myself pleasing to him yani ati usiku ikifika ni mtu anafikiria baby focus eh? first of all if a man likes you he likes you. if he doesn't you can't mm -hmm. change it eh, ni same tu na madem mm -hmm. manze tukikupenda ni tumekupenda tusipo nivo so muhimu ni wewe like look at yourself and and if you reach a particular place in your life where okay umeambia um, mse eh manze feelings nimezishika kata kata no sasa tutafanya nini ya kuambe eh manze miss you kwa hapo tafuta running mate ama mtu mwingine just jitem kutano nimesema eh bana manze hapo ajanifanyia poa but to be to me she self awareness uh, be aware of what you're thinking be aware of your emotions be aware of how you're planning to handle the situation i love us sister apo do you say is it really worth it like sister o man's more ja uyu tu uyu mwenye nimemona jana sasa nipendi sasa ni hivyo ndajua let's get serious guys okay let's be see let's be serious hi there my name is mary do I report to police that my life is in danger? Okay, I feel scared. Where is Sasa? Where are we? No, mommy, but just be be kind. Like treat people not to go to a place. Ni me fika na wengine, but si kilamto. That if if na kukosea wewe na jiumiza mimi so i'd do a lot of things not to hurt you because i also don't want to feel that pain how do you feel about this message ma <laughs> okay you yeah, ya kama ji report mm -hmm. okay me think mm -hmm. um of course there was communication that maybe she was coming mm -hmm. and um personally i think it's not that good also mm -hmm. even as a human being mm -hmm. to to do that to another person to cheat or to yeah. yeah so i think if you do not feel the guy mm -hmm. just stay achana na yeye achana na pesa yake lakini rasta kwangi na vita hai ba mimi ni onyi kitu nani maliza na madem ni kierere 
Wambi wa jifunze kunyamaza. I want you to comment on this one. Wewe unaona wewe una smile kwa tu. Yes. Thank you boy child. Talk to me. Yeah. <coughs> to jifunze kunyamaza in what perspective? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, so this sometimes like I said earlier, communication is so mm -hmm. if you point in your inability to name a jungle, see, na jungle, like like Aisha said, mm -hmm. that there there are, there are situations that require reactions and mm -hmm. some that don't even require your energy. Mm -hmm. So like okay, when someone is like undergrading you or not checking on your rights, see, you una jungle. Here ni kai kere, but I know that my rights are checked on. Mm -hmm. Mm. Na tusidanganyane hapa, kuna meme that is very effective. Ati wastana hapo hapo, ati oh, communication is key, we need to communicate. And they Alafu don't communicate. Ati babe, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Fine. Sijui go, sijui okay. go, go. Eh, cool. iyo kwanza K, iyo ata K. O, uh, K. K. Woo, my friend. How to be self-aware. I want you to, no, please, you. I, I wish you could take down these notes, but if you can't, it's okay. We're still going to upload this on YouTube. Uh, look at yourself objectively. Create some space for yourself. Think about things that you're proud of. Like, ukaya tu jambea, we, 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 we. Na una kumbuka ile siko nilikani ni, we. Me ni kapapa, yay, maze. Dijoche, ni muimu. Keep a journal. Write down goals, plans, and priorities. And this, I mean, even if it's a daily thing. Si lazima useme ati, oh, kesho na win award. Amakitukayo, be, be intentional. Just when you're focused, una time ya kusumbuliwa na kusumbuana pia na wewe, okay? Perform daily self-reflection and do a little meditation. Apo kwa meditation na joni ngumu, juntana is a loose concentration. Okay, now, before we wrap this up, I did compile a couple of pictures and a video or two concerning self-love. If my wonderful team up there will just roll it on out. Let's wrap it up here because we're running out of time a little bit. So we have a wrap up here and then we'll play the material. Queen, what would you like to say on the topic? Okay, um, people should be self-aware mm -hmm. of themselves mm -hmm. because when you know what you're capable, when you know your passion, mm -hmm. you will go for it. Mm -hmm. And also when you know your emotions, mm -hmm. you will also be able to manage it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think when people become self-aware, mm -hmm. it will be of very much help and it will even uh, prevent all these cases of femicide and all that mm -hmm. because people will know their passion, people will know what they want in this life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think people should just learn to know themselves better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on that note, I see a couple of pictures already up. Her name is Dushi Kure. You can find out, by the way, on Instagram. She has amazing vibes. And nowadays, she's doing this um, hashtag plus size slay. And this girl has a beautiful soul. And this is what happens when you're self-aware. She has a, also a short video that we're going to play. And um, this is just pictures of Dori. Like, my gosh, guys. What do you want to do? I want to do it. 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 I want to do it.